Uh, my name is Gladys Kosge. I work at Kenya Wildlife Service. Uh, I'm in charge of marketing and business development uh, of all the national parks and reserves in Kenya, and specifically Lake Nakuru, that we are today here to, to market our national parks and reserves uh, at this golf tournament sponsored by the Magical Kenya. For us, we are looking at how can we uh, integrate with the dom domestic market, and uh, this tournament specifically gives us an opportunity to uh, interact with the golfers who are our key domestic market uh, for the national parks and reserves in Kenya. These are clients who can easily spend money to travel across the country from uh, the marine parks all the way to the, the northern Kenya, including Sibiloi, Marsabit, to the western Kenya, that is Ruma, Kisumu Impala, Kakamega, and uh, even climbing Mount Kenya, because these are people who are fit and they are looking for adventure. So this campaign really brings us together as stakeholders to push the message that everyone deserves an holiday within within Kenya. Uh, my name is David Mwangi, uh, Chairman Nakuru County Tourism Association. Nakuru is, uh, is a place of tourism diversity. Uh, we are here enjoying all forms of uh, tourism. Whether it's adventure tourism, we have three national parks in Nakuru, we have six lakes uh, in Nakuru, we have uh, a lot of conservancies, we have the second largest caldera just behind us here. Uh, if we are talking of mice tourism, we have the capacity to host meetings, both international and local meetings here in Nakuru, all the way from Naivasha, Gilgil, and, and Nakuru, Nakuru City. We are here also to, to promote also the, 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 the kind of uh, tourism that brings people together because of their diversity, their cultural and uh, their, also, uh, their ethnic diversity. Because Nakuru is a place that is owned by nobody and owned by everybody. All communities are here in Nakuru. So we are here to, to celebrate the diversity and, uh, and that's why at this time in Nakuru here we have everybody. Everybody who comes here, they feel at home because you will find someone uh, who is from your, from your community. In, in Nakuru, the most important uh, aspect of, uh, of, of tourism is the mice tourism. And that is what we are pushing. And when you come here for meetings, you will have something to do, like golfing here during your free time. You will go for hiking in some of these mountains and hills, whether it's a Buru, whether it's Meningai. We, we also have uh, what we call the, the boat racing uh, and, and boat riding, whether it's Lake Naivasha, whether it's, uh, it's Lake Nakuru, or whether it's Lake Solai. We have all that kind of things. And then also we have the, the, the brands, the Nax Vegas and the Vasha which are all in, in Nakuru here. So this is the place to be, and uh, we want to welcome the whole, uh, the whole of this country and even the, the, the people out of this country to come and enjoy what is in, in this Nakuru. And we are the newest city in the world, and uh, we, are, we are pride, uh, or we pride in being the only city in the world with a national park and a lake in it. My name is Dr. Betty Radier, and I'm the CEO for Kenya Tourism Board. We've launched a campaign called Why You Deserve a Holiday, and this is basically a domestic campaign that we launched for Kenyans. It's an opportunity, first of all, to appreciate Kenyans for the support that they gave us during the pandemic period, but more importantly, to harness a huge opportunity we identified of Kenyans wanting to, first of all, understand what is available for, for leisure travel around Kenya, but also to see the opportunities to visit places that people haven't thought of um, as holiday destinations. Kenyans generally have, have always gone to the coast, um, and, and gone on safari in different places and then gone to their, uh, their home, home counties or, or what they call upcountry homes. But Kenya has so much more to offer. So the You Deserve a Holiday campaign is purely to allow Kenyans, first of all, to get a good understanding of what Kenya has to offer. And because it, it, it's such an amazing opportunity for people not only to understand what is there for them, uh, the, the communities within those areas have taken an interest in it, the counties have taken an interest in developing experiences within their, within their counties, and therefore we are having lots and of new places opening up which people would not ordinarily have thought about in the past that are now providing a great break a short break a long break uh, a holiday break for families um, a holiday break for children a holiday break for colleagues at work so the you deserve a holiday campaign was a campaign we came together with um, the the tourism uh, stakeholders in the private sector and and basically it allows Kenyans to have us bring the holidays to them. We meet Kenyans 
in different fora where you have cohorts of people that get together and and we come with the with with our trade and they come and actually sell the holiday and close the sale for you so they've made making the decision to go on a holiday very simple you just have to show up and then they're able to provide you offers at, in different places adventure um, relaxation uh, beach safari um, gastronomy just hiking things even even culture just understanding what is there that Kenya has to offer uh, today we're in Nakuru, uh, we're in Nakuru and uh, we've, like I mentioned, um, come up with almost like a roadshow that covers more than eight regions. And the reason for this is to physically go to different regions and encourage people in those regions to first of all see what Kenya has to offer, but also to have them move out of their region and into another region where maybe they, they haven't had an opportunity to experience what the what what the leisure and, and holiday um, opportunities are in those regions.